But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we are back again and uh, the reason actually uh, because I'm going to delete the pre previous video, it's not worth it. Uh, and before I want to delete it, I want to use it. Uh, just to refresh your memory, uh, we have a guy from Senegal and he always call us and he is very rude, very trashy, very low class, but he is very useful. And that's why we uh, let him talk. Uh, today he called us again, as always he do always, he throw a big dump, you know, always on Muhammad. Uh, today he called us, and this is a part of the conversation, you can watch it or, or download the previous video before we take it down. That their numbers goes back to anything except, 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 listen, except, that, that this is Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul, listen. Like let us go to the, to the other video hall here, just forward. Uh, so we are talking about the numbers in the Quran, and obviously this guy, he adopted Rashad Khalifa. And I asked him, do you accept Rashad Khalifa translation? He said, sure. And I said to him, did Rashad Khalifa believe the Quran is corrupted? He said, no way Rashad Khalifa corrupted the Quran. Or he says, he took verses from the Quran. We showed him uh, the Didat, and the Didat, he says the Quran, uh, the, ver the, the theory of Rashad Khalifa have a flaws in it. You were witness, and you were watching, and uh, uh, this guy from Senegal, he said, flaws mean, flaws mean uh, reality, when as we know in English it means wrong, errors. But the problem is, this guy when he adopt the Quran of Rashad Khalifa, and he accept the numbers of Rashad Khalifa, he gave the biggest, the biggest ever, and all the Muslims who do that, they give the biggest blow to, to, to Muhammad. They destroy Muhammad, they destroy Islam, they destroy Allah, they destroy the Quran. And actually, I was lucky to find not only what they that he said about him, but even to find Rashad Khalifa himself, explaining how the Quran was corrupted. This is a disaster. So you remember this idiot, he keep calling me, he said Rashad Khalifa did not corrupt the Quran, you are a liar, I'm going to get you busted. We have Rashad Khalifa in video. And he is explaining how the Quran is corrupt. And not only that, he believed that Paul is a messenger of God. And not only that, to prove that he is right, he used Paul and he used the New Testament to prove that the Quran today is corrupt. A disaster. We will play the video for you. I will share the link with you too, so you can download the video. 
Let us first go with DDAT. And the guy from Senegal. Now he said he is a new Rasul. He's a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory. Did you hear it, Abdul Donkey? There's certain flaws in the theory. And he is calling it a theory. And now he's regretting because he put it this way. The people are asking him, why you put it in your book? Are you stupid or what? So it's a theory. And there's a certain flaws. And let me pay it for you because you are, you are deaf. He said he is a new Rasul. He's a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory. Did you hear it? Let me play it again. This theory, Ali Hatisat Asha. And you know, whatever I say, I know these people will believe. <laughs> so the man creates a sickness in this man. I can make claims. Today, this guy called Rashad Khalifa, he is the man who discovered this theory, Ali Hatisat Asha. Now he said he is a new Rasul. He's a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory. I'm going to call you, and you said, no, he did not say that. Why you, why you embarrass yourself? Why? Did you hear him or no? I listened to this before you were even... Okay, born, so man. did he say there are certain flaws with the theory? What, 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 what do you understand by that? What there, there's mean? errors. Oh, you see? You don't even understand fucking English. Uh, don't use filthy language like your prophet, filthy man. You don't understand English, so man. So what, what the flaws mean? What, what, what does it mean? You tell me, I don't know. There is some realities on it. Flaws mean, flaws mean reality? Yes. Ah. Ignorant, man. Did you hear? The word the flaws mean reality. So when the that he said there's a flaws, he is saying there is a reality. We go to the dictionary, and this is the word of flaws, the one the that he mentioned. It says uh, fault, other imperfection, etc. According to the idiot from Senegal who is teaching me English, he says this does not mean what I am saying. It's not error, it's not uh, faults, it's not uh, uh, mistakes. It's not, uh, you know, true. Uh, he said it is reality. And then we continue. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so listen, listen, guys. There, there, is, there is certain flaws in the in the in the theory. So why? So why? Listen, listen. So, so he is saying now there's reality in the theory. So why he called theory? So why he called theory? Oh my God. Oh my freaking God. This is it. You, you're the most ignorant person. Why, met why he is calling it, why he is calling it a theory? Followed by Christians who don't understand shit. If you are the leader. Stop talking about you, shit. I can show you a verse in the Quran about it. So I'm asking you now, why he called it a theory if it's not a fact? Is it a fact or a theory? I said a theory had to be verified. Okay. Was it? Theory. Did he, to be very did he verify it? Did he, did he verify it? He, okay, let me hang up on you. Let me hang up on you to show you how he verified it. Here we go. I will play it again. Mr. Good speaking English. He said he used the same theory to prove that the Quran is corrupt. But besides that, now he's claiming now on the basis of that discovery that he is Rasulullah. And now he came out to prove first was that the Quran is Allah's Kalam, not changed. Not one letter is changed. Now through the same theory he's proving, he's trying to prove that, look, the Quran is changed. That there are verses in the Quran which are not supposed to be there. Did you hear it? There's verses in the Quran not supposed to be there. So there's error in his speech, in his study. There is verses in the Quran. You said to me, everybody heard you. Nowhere, Rashad Khalifa, he such a thing. And nowhere did that, he said that. And he made the three videos about it. You said that to me. We just heard Didat saying that Rashad Khalifa claimed that there's verses in the Quran. They should not be there. Let me call you on love. Hmm. So, did you hear it? Did he say... Did the dad say? Did the dad say? Did did the dad did the dad say that this guy Rashad Khalifa he is trying to prove that the Quran is corrupt? Yes or no? 
He did. He said okay. by him saying, he said by Rashad saying that there are two verses that are added in the Quran, he's saying that the Quran is corrupted. You coward, you son of Muta. So a second ago you said to me, Rashad Khalifa, he never said the Quran is corrupted. You said to me, there's nowhere the, the Rashad Khalifa, he says, there's verses we need to take them off. It is you no. who said, it is you who said, shut up, don't call me again. No. You, are a, you, are a, you are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. You said, he never, it's recorded. He did not take any verse from the Quran. With the guy, he said clearly, those verses, we need to take them off in order to make the 19 happen. He never take verses from the Quran. Never. That's what he said to me. Listen, don't don't go there. Don't go there. We can go there after. We can. Today, this guy called Rashad Khalifa, he is the man who discovered this theory, Ali Hatisat Asher. Now he said he is a new Rasul. He's a messenger of God. There are certain flaws in the theory. Did you hear it, Abdul Donkey? There's certain flaws in the theory, and he is calling it a theory. And now he's regretting because he put it this way. The people are asking him, why you put it in your book? Are you stupid or what? So it's a theory. And there's a certain flaws. And let me pay it for you because you are, you are. means What is important more that he said, uh, anyone remember which, uh, which minute he said, uh, there is a, uh, he did not take the two verses. Anyone remember? Already. So why we keep repeating this? So their number, you said to me, this is addition. You don't keep this no addition. If there's a, that their numbers goes back to, I'm just trying to find. There are certain flaws in the theory. Uh, that their number, hold on. I'm just trying to find where he said, there is no, uh, he did not take verses from the Quran. Where? I mean, this guy is the most idiot ever. Bashad Khalifa, he did not take any verses from the Quran. I'm just trying to find where exactly he said that in the Quran, in, in, the, in the video. Uh, maybe here. But this man who originally made the decision. Whenever I try to show it to our uh, mullahs, you know, they don't accept it and they don't believe in it. Uh, would you please? Uh... Uh, there was a book I had written, Al Quran, the Ultimate Miracle. I had delivered talks on the subject, and there were videotapes and cassettes available. But this man who originally made the discovery, which I found useful in talking to Muslims and non Muslims, but this man, a sickness has developed. Now he's claiming to be a new Rasulullah, like what Baha'u'llah was at one time, and Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. This is a sickness, this is a sickness mm -hmm. that is quite common. You see, once a person, you know, he finds that he's so clever, that people are, you know, hero worshipping him. And, you know, whatever I say, I know these people will believe. So the man creates a sickness, this is a man I can make claims. Today, this guy called Rashad Khalifa, he is the man who discovered this theory, Ali Hatisat Asher. Now he said he is a new Rasul. Did you see he just his theory? Did you see that he said now his theory? So why you put it in the Quran as a fact in, in your book? Do you see that? Do you see how they lie? Do you see how they change the color of their skin? If somebody can find me exactly when he said the Rashad Khalifa he did not uh, change the the uh, the Quran. Uh, let me know which minute, please, if somebody can help. So we don't waste time. Uh, in the same time, I will go to Rashad Khalifa Quran. This is the website of Rashad Khalifa. Masjid to scan dot org, as you see in the screen. This is Rashad Khalifa Quran. Masjid to scan dot org. This potato he said never changed. Rashad Khalifa never changed the Quran, never take verses from the Quran. The first change is, you remember I, I told you, 
We are talking about who is the one who named the chapter of Noah, chapter of Noah. Is that correct? And I said, those names are not named really by Allah. And we showed answers from big imams and big sheikh. But look what the chapter 9 in the, in the Quran of Rashad Khalifa is called. What is this? What is this name? Ultimatum? Is that ultimato? Is that ultimato? And if we go to the Quran of Rashad Khalifa, this is a chapter 9, the same as a chapter of at -Tawbah. We go to the last verses, we will find the last two verses is 125, 126, 127. There's no 128, there's no 129. If we go to Muslim website, this is a chapter 9. Do you see verse number 20, 127? Do you see it? Let me go up, hmm. just to show you. We cannot actually go up. This is a chapter 9, as you see, at Tawbah. Verse 127, verse 128, verse 129. And this idiot, he was saying to me, you are a liar. Rashad Khalifa did not take any verse. I don't know if any of you was able to find where he said that. Uh, this uh, ultimate fault, let me know what minute so we can play it, so we can add to the video as a proof of his lies. So as you see, in the, in the Quran they have today, there is 128, 129. In the Quran of Rashad Khalifa, there's no 128, there's no 129. And this is Rashad Khalifa Quran. So again, this guy from Senegal is a big fat liar. Now, the biggest disaster is not even here now. I found a video of Rashad Khalifa himself, and he is quoting the messenger of God, Paul, peace be upon him, to prove that the Quran is corrupted. Isn't it, this is beautiful? I mean, what we want as a Christian more? He is using the word of he, the, the book of Hebrew and the book of Romans to prove what exactly? To prove that the Quran is screwed up. Be my witness. This is the video. I will share the link with you. Let us go. You can watch the whole video. It's 10 minutes, but we're not, we're not going to play all the... But you can watch it. I mean, I don't mind if all of you... I will give you this, the, the link so you can watch it all, your, uh, all of you. But let us go and, and see. I think it's in the minute. Let us see here. How many times this ultimate fart he, he, he made fun of Paul? How many times? Many times, right? And he insulted Paul, and all the Muslims insult Paul. And now they are quoting a miracle made by this guy, and he himself, he, he believes that Paul is a messenger of God, and he received revelation from God, which is going to show again that how stupid this religion is. Uh. <coughs> talks about the fact that we have all sinned. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't write it here, but now I remember it. It says we have all sinned. Is that his reading? I guess I didn't write the verse here. It talks about... Uh, Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't write it here, but now I remember it. Anyway. It says we have all sinned. Uh -huh. <coughs> Talks about the fact that we have all <coughs> sinned. We have all challenged God's absolute authority. We have committed a crime. That's why you are here. A terrible, terrible crime for which the angels thought that we should go to hell right away. You probably have seen this in Romans 6, 23, where it says that we... Did you see? He is quoting who? Rashad Khalifa quoting what? Hey, people, did you hear it? 
Rashad Khalifa is quoting who? Quoting the book, the book of Roman. Who is speaking there? <laughs> This is the guy, this idiot, ultimate fault. He called me to prove Islam to be from God. He himself believed in Paul. And this is why he caught Paul. You don't quote Paul unless you accept that Paul is a messenger of God and he is inspired and he received revelation. I'm not going to quote somebody from a newspaper to prove what I am saying is true about God, I'm quoting it from, and he said it from previous scriptures. He said that in the video. And then he went to Roman, and even he went to the book of Hebrew. Wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is what? Is death. Did you hear it, Muslims? This is the word of God, and this is Paul. Getting you all busted. Continue. Very famous statement. The wages of sin is death. Because what happened as a consequence of this rebellion, Satan's rebellion, and yours and mine, the, the, the system that God designed called for putting all those creatures to death. You and I were dead before we came here. So now he's trying to prove his theory. And what is the theory? Just to make it short, is to prove that the Quran is corrupt. As simple as that. So we don't want to give you, get you bored. Let us move it a little bit to a minute. And we stop with the minute seven, uh, let's say 740 something. Adam's God's absolute authority. And we are the few. And not only that, actually, he said that all Muslims in the world, they are false Muslims. Why? Because they are mushrikeen and they associate the name of Muhammad with the name of Allah. He said, you go to the mosque and you tell them, I want to say that ilaha illallah. He said, they will beat you up. And if you live in a society, not American society, they will kill you. And later they killed him. He thought because he's living in America, those people are civil. They're all blaspheming against God, saying Jesus is God or Son of God. So now he's saying the Christian, they say that Jesus is God, this is blasphemy against God. But you're stupid, you just caught Paul. I mean, do you see the stupidity? If Paul was wrong, then Paul is wrong. Then Paul worship Jesus. You are quoting the book of Roman and the book of, 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 of Hebrew. <laughs> Mentally ill. And this is the smart one of them. Continue. Or the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. See, this is this is this is who we are. Initially, we challenged God's absolute authority, and we are the few that God told the angels, "I know what you do not know." I was writing a footnote in the New Translation on why did God allow two verses false verses to be injected in the Quran. Did you hear it? Why Allah, he allowed two false verses to be injected in the Quran. Did we hear it? Why Allah allow it? Anyone did find me where ultimate fault in the previous video, he says, you are a liar and uh, 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 and Rashad Khalifa did not uh, take verses. Are you guys helping me? I ask if somebody can volunteer and search in the video in which minute, which, in which hour, which minute. He said that. Did anyone find it? So we can play it. He screamed at me and he said that I am a liar. And Rashad Khalifa did not take verses from the Quran. And I told you, if somebody can help me to find it, 10 minutes ago, and until now nobody gave me the, the, uh, the timing.
anyway but it's there we will find it so we can add it to the video we don't want to add it later you know to do editing just put it there so everybody will laugh at this guy from senegal so look what happened now the man who is copied by ddad he believe in paul did that he took the words of this guy he put it even in his book and he said in his video the reason I took it and put it in my book because it helped and somehow to convince the Muslims and non-Muslims why he did use it because simply he, he found that it's useful to convince Muslims and non-Muslims but this man who originally made the discovery which I found useful in talking to Muslims and non-Muslims did you see he found it useful, who I found it useful. But then he himself, he says, there's a flaws in what he called useful. So how you take it to be useful if it is not true? So those people, they are willing to, to use anything in order to deceive you as a Christian or as non-Muslim. There's one of you in the chat before, he said to me, Christian Prince, don't you have a life? I find this is very offending and very stupid. I am the one who have a life and you don't. My life is to save people. What is your life? To eat zucchini? To watch TV? So you are angry that I just left and I came back? I came back because I have a life and my life is to Jesus. What is your life for? Are you angry because I was, I was alive for six, seven hours and I came back again? Because my faith for me is the first thing in my life. I am the one who have a life, not you. Go watch TV. Play games. So look what happened. Little search, we found the video of this guy who is caught in Paul which means Paul is a messenger. In the same time, this Edith, he contradicts himself, and he say that the Christian, they worship Jesus the same as the Muslim, they associate Muhammad with Allah. But he just quote Roman chapter six, to prove what? To prove that we are sinners. But isn't it the same book? <laughs> Speak about Jesus, the son of God was sent so 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 we don't pay the to pay the wages of death <laughs> do you see the hypocrisy of this stupid religion as long you quote the, <laughs> the book of roman then you accept the book of roman and if you accept the book of roman you accept paul and if you accept paul then you accept that Paul, he worshiped Jesus. So how he say the Christian, they commit blasphemy against God, and they say that Jesus is son of God. Who is the stupid here? If you go to the first chapter in the book of Romans, the first chapter, not even the last one, even the first verses, you will see right away the book mentioned clearly the Son of God. And here you see the hypocrisy of this cult. The same as did that was using this guy to reach into his goal to deceive people. This guy is, re is using Roman to deceive his people. But he will not quote for them what the book of Romans said. And he will not tell them who is the one speaking. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our God. This is the gospel of God. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit, in the gospel of his son, 
So he went to Roman and he said, let us read Roman chapter 6. Why you don't read Roman chapter 6? Why you don't tell your people that the book you are quoting, your liar, your deceiver, is a book worshiping Jesus? Why you don't tell them that as long you accept Roman chapter 6, that Jesus, he was raised and he was crucified? So only you care that he said that we are sinners? Do you see the hypocrisy of those people? Do you think this guy, he have a PhD in chemical, in, chem in chemistry? He did read the book of Roman only verse, one verse. He just saw one verse. All of them, they serve one master. That is the devil. All of them. For our four minutes, thank you, Trinity. Let us go to the video then. Thank you. I appreciate your help, Trinity. Uh, and let us make you an admin. Four hour and two minutes. first okay did allah hire one angel for the for to guard the heaven first man this guy you you're the dumbest in christian take uh, abdul so abdul <laughs> abdul listen listen how many angels allah he put in the door of the hell god god said there is none but angels that gonna guard no the hell for no no this is not what he said he says i made them 19. Ashabanari illa malaika. I, he said, I made them 19. The funny, this guy, he doesn't speak Arabic, by the way. And then, like, now he tried to sound like an Arab, so he will convince you that he knows what he's talking about. But we asked him before many times. He said, I do not know Arabic. I do not need to know Arabic. So why you are trying to sound Arabic now? <laughs> he said, I made them nine. I made them 19. He said, he said, he said, he said I made them, I made them 19. I got a witness here. He's I got I got speaker. I got a witness too. Did he say I made them I did he say I made them 19? No, before that. After that, he said what before? Jalna, okay. Nari, okay, but uh, okay, no, one by one, one by one. Okay. There are 19. There are 19. We made them 19. Do we agree? Let us move a little bit. The problem with this uh, YouTube, it jumped fast, you know, he tried to make it uh, means there is none but angels that are gonna guard the hellfire yes or no Do you okay agree? And, but there's no numbers there now you agree you just said no it doesn't mean that liar you now that i have witnesses now you're agreeing abdul son of mata i have to say son of mata i have to say son of mata because you are wasting my time listen carefully listen carefully the the verse there here it says their number there go back to verse number 30 you donkey Go back, go back to the angels. Their number is what? Where we can't find the numbers, we can't find the number in verse number 30. And you agreed you don't care already. So why we keep repeating this? So their number, you said to me, this is addition. You don't care. There's no addition. If there's addition, that's mean there's, there are more than 19. If Allah is adding more numbers, that's mean they are not 19. That's mean Allah is wrong. Can I? Uh... Or if you add one plus one plus one plus one all the way to nineteen, where is the one plus one? What does it have to do with my question? I'm asking you. Did Allah? He says we made them. Uh, we made them nineteen. He made them nineteen. Did he add more numbers? It's, uh, if if uh, if Ohaliba said I got five kids, you you say oh no 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 she don't have five. And who is Ohaliba? Who is Ohaliba? Give us wisdom. <laughs> Ohaliba is, uh, <laughs> I, I don't use her name. Uh, that's, that, that's one of your girls. Ohaliba. That I call Ohaliba. No, you're, stupid, you're a stupid idiot. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Listen. 
Here it says in the front of you, and I am showing, I'm showing, I'm willing to show every single Islamic scholar and everybody will laugh at you. So why you don't show me? One scholar agree with you. Uh, I want to know, I want to know, I want to know why this guy, ultimate fault always, he have different opinion from all the Muslims in the world. Tamara, you better join Islam, Tamara. You, you, you witness. See, he don't want me to expose to, to, to prove to the world that I will join is Islam too because I like to have an endless penis like what your prophet says my penis is only six foot is not 20,000 uh, foot so now I'm asking you listen Abdul penis. listen Abdul That's yeah the God of penis. penis your God is the only God who promised penises is your God you want to talk about what? penis China. That's all you love this is your you religion because are you sure that this is where where he said that uh, uh, Rashad Khalifa, he did not cut the Quran, he did not take two verses because uh, we passed already four or four. See, if, if I, if I, this is what I love, I quote your prophet, you are saying to me, this is what I love, I'm quoting your prophet, isn't it your God, isn't it your God even describe how big their boobs is? Oh, the, isn't it God describing in Ezekiel 23, to, uh, to, uh, uh, 20, how, how big their dicks are? Yes, your God described that, I can show you. <laughs> it said in Ezekiel to quote, read Ezekiel 23. This is not about this is not about penis, and this is not God talking, and you are stupid. You. This is the book I of. Listen, 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 listen. Everybody is laughing now. Listen, I'm asking you for the last time. I'm asking you for the last time. Abdul, Abdul, potato. Listen, 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 listen. So now we 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 found we found that we are in minute four point five. Where is where is where he said? that uh, Rashad did not uh, uh, add, take verses. Four, five, 50, okay. So then the four, five was wrong. Nobody, nobody in Islam agree with you so that four, their uh, numbers uh, four, goes four. back to anything except, 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 listen, except that, that this is Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen, Abdul, listen, listen. Don't don't go there. Don't go there. We can go there after. We can go there after. Let us finish this one. So listen, listen, listen. So now, why your why your Muslim translation in front of us says you said to me you accept Rashad Khalifa translation before, correct? One verse from the Bible. You I could the media. We talk about Abdul, all day. Abdul. Abdul. You said you accept Rashad Khalifa translation. Did you say that? Effort. Get out of here, man. Did you Stay say to you. me? Did you say to me you accept Rashad Khalifa? That's so I after five translations, he's among them. Yes. Okay, but Rashad Khalifa, Rashad Khalifa, he took verses from the Quran. No, he did, he never took any verse from the Quran. Okay. That's what we're looking for. Did you see it? I am a liar. He did not take any verses from the Quran. That's what he said. Oh, the, isn't it God describing in Ezekiel 23 to, uh, to, uh, uh, 20 how, uh, uh, how big the yeah, dicks are? Yeah, really say that. Effort. Get out of here, man. Did you Stay say to you. me, did you say to me you accept Rashad Khalifa? That's so, I after five translations, he's among them. Yes. Okay, but Rashad Khalifa, Rashad Khalifa, he took verses from the Quran. No, he did, he never took any verse from the Quran. Okay, I just showed you. I just played a video of Didat. Did that exposing Rashad Khalifa, and he's saying he took verses from the Quran to prove that the Quran is perfect. Did that? Did that made three videos hmm. of the ultimate miracles, Miracle 19. Did that defended Miracle 19? You liar. Exactly. He defended Miracle 19, and now he is against it. So look what happened. We have the video of Rashad Khalifa himself, and he explained why the Quran is corrupted. And we are the few that God told the angels, I know what you do not know. I was writing a footnote in the new translation on why did God allow two verses, false verses, to be injected in the Quran for 1400 years? Why did he permit it for 1400 years? Why? And it's because the, just a few years after the Prophet's death, they reverted to idolatry. The Muslims reverted. But look what he just said. He said Allah himself, he permitted that.
Did he just say that? Allah, he permitted people to corrupt the Quran. And this is what we keep saying to you. Allah is Satan. Allah, he permitted that to happen. And what that will do? Why Allah, he permitted that? So Allah permitted the corruption of the Torah, Muslim they say. Allah permitted the corruption of the gospel, the Muslim they say. Allah permitted the books of all the prophets to be corrupted, the Muslims say. And now the Muslims are saying that Allah, he permitted the Quran to, to be played with. So who is Allah? Isn't it this is a proof that Allah himself is a devil? Let me give you the link here. Who wanna, who wanna have the link of this video so you can download it? Uh, I find that this is a great uh, opportunity to see it. I never saw this video before. Uh, and as long as it's in English, it's perfect for us. You know, you do not need translator. And here we prove two things, that Muslims are hypocrite when they say they don't believe in Paul. Every single Muslim in the world, he copy this guy. Every single Muslim. And if he was guided by Allah to find the miracle 19 as they claim, then he was guided by Allah to find that the Quran is corrupted. Because he cannot be guided by Allah and Shaitan at the same time. Is that correct? How he found the miracle number 19? Even this guy, uh, Ultimate Fart, he quote for me a verse from the Quran, and he claimed the Quran says that Allah, he will show those things to the one who have a clear heart. So this guy is a good guy then. <laughs> And what happened, those idiots, when this guy, he started spreading his uh, uh, so-called miracle, because the Muslims are obsessed, the tree is bowing down to Allah. The rat is saying, Allahu Akbar. The dog is saying, how Allahu Akbar. The meow, the cat, she don't walk over the Quran. They, they, they see a watermelon, there is the name of Allah inside. You look at his hand, he see the name of Allah. They, are, they have obsession. They are trying to find their God, but they find him everywhere, except in the book they have. Then finally, one of them, he is smart in, ma in mathematics. He decided to play the game of numbers. And he have a degree, he have a PhD in chemistry. So numbers is his game. And for sure, he have to be smart, you know? So he start calculating and putting things and, you know, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, doesn't work. And then finally, he said to himself, you know what? I'm not going to make it happen unless I take two verses. But even his theory or effect, I destroy it in two seconds. Because the chapter one, Verse number one is not 19 letters. And we showed you that today, yesterday, in the, in the previous video. So all the theory is based in false argument. But because those people, they want to use anyone, like when Mimi Hijab, he says to Fifi, to, to David Wood, he said to him, David, he said to him, your God have body part. Uh, Mimi Hijab, he said, who said so? But all the Quran and the Hadith says Allah have hands. Allah have bodies. So in Islam, when you defend Islam and you lie, Muslims, they go behind you. It doesn't matter how much you lie. As long as you are promoting Islam, you are good for them. And this was the case for this guy. They did not really believe in what he say. But because he is given something, people, they do not know numbers. Most of us, we do not, we are not good in numbers. And he do not know Arabic. So he can say whatever he want. But the second we go to the first verse in the Quran, we will find that the whole number is based on number 19, and verse number one in the Quran is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, according to him, is 19. We calculated, and today we found you, that there's one, two, three, four, five letters additional to 19. So we started with 20, then 21, then 22, then 23, then 24, etc. So it was a fiction from the beginning. And this is why you need to remember always, that never take anything to be serious from a Muslim, they lie about the religion. This is a lesson for you. And now this hypocrite himself, he caught Paul to prove what? To prove that the Quran is corrupt. 
But the Muslims, they quote for us Paul to insult the Bible and to say the Bible is corrupt. And they accuse Paul that he is the one behind the corruption of Christianity. And the same guy in this individual, the one who quote from the book of Hebrew and the one who quote from the book of Roman, he is the same one, few minutes after he says the Christian, they commit blasphemy against God by worshiping Jesus. So how he quoted Roman? How you quote Roman? Why you quote the book of Romans? Isn't it all the book of Romans is about worshiping Jesus? And how Paul became a messenger of God then? Because Paul, he is a messenger of Jesus. So if you are quoting Paul, you are quoting that Paul is sent by Jesus, and that means that Jesus is God, for prophet cannot make you prophet. Prophet cannot send prophets. God sent prophets. So he called Paul to prove his fiction and his lies, and later he denied what the Christians believe. When the same chapter he is reading from, confirming who is Jesus. Watch and love. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't write it here, but now I remember it. It says we have all sinned. <coughs> talks about the fact that we have all sinned. We have all challenged God's absolute authority. We have committed a crime. That's why we are here. A terrible, terrible crime for which the angels thought that we should go to hell right away. You probably have seen this in Romans 6, 23, where it says the wages of sin is death. Very famous statement. The wages of sin is death. Because what happened as a consequence of... But look at this guy there, guys. Do you go to Ch Romans chapter 6, verse number 23? Does it say... Does it say... For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is the eternal life through Christ, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Look at this. So this guy, he called for them the first few words, but he didn't want to quote for them the rest where it says that Jesus is God. The same verse. And what the book of Romans is saying about how to overcome sin. Are we going to be good? Are we going to be God? Or we are going to be forgiven by the grace of God? What a bunch of liars. I never saw filthy, trashy, lying religion as the cult of Islam. No ethic. Zero ethic. And this guy, his videos is online, his books is online, and he that, he got that from his book. So there is no way that he knew when he quoted him what this guy is saying. This guy is not hiding what he believed. And not only that, he said, he claimed that he is the messenger of Allah. He is what? He is a messenger of Allah. And even that in his video, he says, yes, he said that. But this man, a sickness has developed. Now he's claiming to be a new Rasulullah, like what Baha'u'llah was at one time, and Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. This is a sickness, this is a sickness that is quite common. 
You see, once a person, you know, he finds that he's so clever that people are, you know, hero worshiping him. You follow the clever man, and now that means you are a stupid man too. If he was a clever, and he made you quote him, and you put it in your book, and you make the video about it, defending it, and later you are attacking it, that means you are a scam. And look what happened here. If you remember Timid Fart himself, he says to me that Muhammad is the last prophet. And the last messenger. And we said many times, this verse does not mean anything about that. It's about Muhammad, he is the seal, which means he is the one. He confirm all prophets be for him he is the last one who just came now and he confirm he confirm he stamp this is true this is true this is true and this is why in the quran this is chapter uh, 30, 33 verse number 40 when the muslim they translate they say that he is the seal of the prophet nowhere it says he is the last of the prophet it says khatim khatim is the same as a stamp Khatim, that's it. And then if we go in the Quran, we will find there's tons of verses saying, believing in what is with them. Tons of verses. This is what the seal does. He believe, he confirm, he verify, and he put his seal. Like when you do a document translation or a document uh, 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 in the government or a passport, they have their seal to prove that your passport is made by the government, whatever government it is. This is the seal. But as long as the Muslim, they say Muhammad is the last messenger and last prophet and there's no messenger after him. And this guy, he made it clear that he is the last messenger. And he said, oh, actually, he is the only one and his followers are the true Muslims. Why? Because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the name of God with the name of Muhammad. God said, I'm going to put Satan to the test. I'm going to send these creatures, give him a second chance. God is giving us a second chance to denounce. Let us see, I think it was in minute, maybe six, let us see. Other than this mask and the few associated with it, See? How bad we are, and we bear witness there is no God except He, going back to the kingdom of God. To go Allah, repent, let's try to get back. Alhamdulillah, we praise God. And we bear witness there is no God except He. We committed that blasphemy. And to put it uh, bluntly, the angel said, send them all to hell. And God said, I know what you don't know. God I mean, the funny here, this guy, he says, that they committed blasphemy, but Allah, he just created Adam, you idiot. What are you talking about? It, it, the verse is so, in the Quran is so clear. So when he, Allah, he fashioned him, and he just finished him, he told them to go, to bow down to Adam, and all of them, they bow down, except Shaitan, except Iblis. According to this guy, he is claiming that there's uh, many Adams, and why he is saying that? Do you remember the question I asked you in the previous video? In the same chapter we were talking about, chapter of Noah, where it says that Allah, he favored Noah above all mankind. I ask, if Noah is the first one, how he is being favored and chosen from all mankind? Do you remember? Do you remember? The only way for this verse to be correct if there was many human, and Noah was chosen from those people. 
Is that correct? Because if Adam is the first man, I chose him from who? I favored him upon who? This is a very stupid religion. So this guy is confused. How Adam is the first one? And yet Allah, he favored him upon all mankind. That means there's many mankind and he was favored. If he is the first man, that is, this is a stupid verse. And this is, this is a stupid verse actually. And when we speak about the names of the verses, I told this guy from Senegal, who is the one who named the chapters in the Quran? He said, Allah. And he wanted to prove that to me. And he said, he accept Rashad Khalifa. But look in Rashad Khalifa, chapter 9 is called what? Bara'a. In the Quran they have today, it's called a Tawbah. How many times he scream at me and he want to prove to me that the one who named the verses in the Quran is Allah? And I said to him, this is not true. The Muslims have different names, different, different in the Quran. Chapter 9, it's called Bara. It's in the front of your eyes. So if the one who named the Quran or the chapters is Allah, that means this is a proof that all the names are corrupt too. And then we go there and we check. You know, the, the problem, my problem with those guys, I don't have the patient too much to, that this guy, he scream, he insult, he have a filthy mouth. Otherwise, I should, I should say to him, okay, let us go right now and let us check the Quran of Rashad Khalifa. You said Rashad Khalifa, does not take any verses from the Quran. Let us go and read his book. And then right away we'll find that the last verse in chapter 9 is verse number 127. But in the other Qurans, it is 129. And now I'm sure this guy, he will never accept Rashad Khalifa no more. But if he don't accept Rashad Khalifa, then he should not accept all that false miracles because all of them, they are based on deleting those verses. And not only this, this guy, he found even his name in the Quran. He claimed that the numbers he made prove that his name is mentioned in the Quran. Any question? So, uh, I don't know how many of you saved the link for Rashad Khalifa, it's in English. And I don't know if you can download it. I think this would be a good idea if you guys can download and save them because I'm sure the Muslim will try to delete those videos. Very embarrassing. And do you see the hypocrisy? The same guy who caught Paul, the same guy he said the Christian, they are doing a blasphemy against God. When Paul is the first one to worship Jesus, And he is the last one to deny him. So how he caught Paul, and then he deny worshiping Jesus. That's it. I'm going to give him another chance. <laughs> but when we look around us, we see how bad we are, how bad the human race is. They are so bad. It's not even funny. They're so bad. There is not a single mosque in the world other than this mosque and a few associated with it where God is, is, uh, is commemorated alone. Did you see? Where God is the absolute God. Every single mosque in the world is violating the commandment in 72.18 that says the mosque belongs to God. Do not call on any other name but his name. Did you hear Muslims? The mosque belong to Allah, 
and don't call any other names beside Allah. What the Muslim they do? They call the name of Muhammad in everything they do. In everything they do. And this guy, he believed that Shahada is a fraud. The Shahada the Muslim they have today is a fraud. Why? Because they associate the name of Muhammad with the name of God. And he is being truthful here. How you claim that you are a person who worship only God, then you associate the name of a man with God in order to believe in God. And try to tell, try to ask them to say La ilaha illallah. There is no God except God. We have a mosque right here. Just try it. Just go there and tell them. I mean, it's, it's not even three miles from here. Tell them La ilaha illallah. And they'll beat you up. They will actually get violent. That's a, that's a typical mosque. And they beat you up because you're in America here, because this is a civilized world. Over there, they'll kill you. Did you hear it? The civilized world is here, not in Middle East. If you, if you are over there, they will kill you. And they killed him. They killed him. The Abduls, they came to his house. They said to him, Assalamu alaikum. He opened the door for them because they are Muslims. He trusts them. They walk with him into the kitchen. And in the kitchen, they killed him in his back. This poor guy, he did not know that they are planning to kill him when he was talking. Islam is peace, remember. Any question? And somebody says this is Facebook. Uh, Facebook, you can download. You go search in uh, search in YouTube how to download a video from Facebook. There is many ways. I think you just add M, which means mobile, before the address, and that will make you able to click at the video and download the video. Any question? I hope you will download this video, share it with your friends. I'm not going to keep you here for long. And again, for the one who said to me, don't you have a life? Shame on you. Is that my reward as a person who is a Christian, who devoted a lot of time to serve the truth, to teach you, to tell your kids so nobody can deceive them and lie to them? You say to me, don't you have a life? Shame on you. How disgusting. I am the one who have a life. Soon you will be taken to the grave, and the Lord he will ask you how many hours you spend to tell people about me. You will tell him, I have a life, Jesus. I was watching TV and movies. I was going out on Saturday. I'm not like Christian Prince, he have no life. Just wait, time will come. What a shameful behavior. Go, it's Saturday night, go. Go to party. You know, Muslims don't make me angry. But some who claim to be Christian, they make me really upset with their stupid comments. Anyway, I want to say thank you all for being here. Sorry for bothering you. I'm bringing you again. I don't mean to, but I have to come here. You don't have to be here. I can be here alone. And if you are bothered, don't come. Nobody is forcing you, Mr. Don't have a life. I do what I like to do, and everybody goes where he belongs. And I belong to defend the truth. And the hours I spend proving that.
I can make 15 minute video. And then I say, guys, okay, I will see you two days ago, you know, from now. And that's it. I stay honest to God when I finish after six, seven hours. My, my legs is hurting from sitting. They hurt. It's not fun to sit for seven hours. You don't even go to the bathroom. And then in the top of saying, well, this, how he said this, they said to me, don't you have a life? What a shame. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I forgive the one who said that to me. And may the Lord forgive you. May the Lord forgive you. Thank you all. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh, the people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>